location in into an invoice so the next step is what that we need to check that the, uh, the report okay so we need to check the most important report because your boss he wants to know that how much is the receivable balance that how much we need to receive the money from this customer right so uh -huh. this is uh, this is what who owes you right and yeah. here we have this the most important report which we need to check again and again all the time this is what because all other reports are there but this one is the most important one that is customer balance detail because i want to see the balance of my individual customer each transaction mm -hmm. wise right so mm -hmm. look right now uh, here the, uh, that uh, we created this invoice so that invoice value is how much 31000 2307.50 bill so that is the balance we need to receive from this customer yeah right uh -huh. so you need to click on this plus okay and this is what receive payments okay mm -hmm. so let's suppose we are receiving right now 25000 a partial payment against this invoice so we go in this receive payments you need to select the customer customer is samsung automatically the email id will come you can find your invoice uh with the invoice number also that is the payment date right so let's suppose we are receiving this payment on 16 right and we're receiving mm -hmm. a check and if that is a check mm -hmm. you need to mention that check number here and uh, you are depositing mm -hmm. this check in which bank account let's suppose uh into the Dubai islamic bank okay mm -hmm. and that is our invoice so if you're if yeah. you're receiving the full check the full payment right so you can click this mm -hmm. you can click this check button and automatically this amount will come but if okay. it is a partial payment right so then you need to enter here the amount manually that is 25000 uh, okay. right so automatically here the amount will also appear oh. okay mm -hmm. so the total is 31000 this much and you are receiving right now 25000 only and you are applying this amount to this invoice number so save and close mm -hmm. you can also like uh, mention your partial payment received from samsung and then save and close mm -hmm. right so it's a partial payment yeah. and if you want to see the ledger you can refresh this report okay so right now it's not coming why you need to go here in the, on the customized okay select the filter this is AAR paid so right now it is only uh -huh. unpaid is coming so i'm gonna select all yes. because i want to see all the transactions right uh -huh. so first is invoice so you pay twenty five thousand. the remaining balance is how much that is six thousand two hundred thirty seven point fifty pays clear yeah okay now let's suppose let's suppose the next very day we are receiving uh another check of the six thousand right so again mm -hmm click on this plus uh you need to click on this receive payments receive payment you need to select the, the customer customer is samsung right this is a check and you are receiving this on let's suppose on 20th that is our the check reference number you're depositing in the same by islamic bank right and now we are receiving the yeah. full amount so i'm gonna check this software right so that is six thousand uh 237.50 pins and then save and close we right here mm -hmm. the memo also full payment received Receive. and then save and close any question here uh -huh. Cheryl? no no so we go here and refresh this report so look the balance uh -huh. is zero now Yeah. Yeah, we have there. Now let's assume it. If we have a scenario now, 
that uh, you receive call from your customer on 21st of uh, February that uh, that uh, let's assume it that uh, five of the hard drives they are not working it's damaged mm -hmm. broken right okay so we yeah need to, we need to return that five hard drive back to samsung uh, we, that samsung they are uh, returning those five hard drive to us right so uh -huh. we need to record a sales return a credit note so click on this plus icon and here in the plus icon we have this credit note so when you mm -hmm. click on this credit note we need to just fill this information the customer right that is the credit note that is on uh, let's suppose on uh, uh, 25th right and sales location yeah. is Dubai right and those are mm -hmm. five hard drives okay and uh, that is 250 and standard rated text there. so we are returning this one yeah yeah yes okay and then uh, you can uh, like uh, return item uh, uh, enter that description here And then save it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Now yes. we can go here in the customer balance again. We can refresh it. Okay. Now what we have a scenario. We have a scenario that either we need to give a replacement. We need to replace this five hard drive, right? So if you're replacing mm -hmm. it, obviously you will issue a new invoice, right? But yes. what if the customer is asking for a refund? Okay. Right. Okay. So now yeah. that is a tricky yeah. one. Okay. If you record a simple, if you check here, look, it is here, it is coming. This credit note. This credit mm -hmm. note is coming. Okay. Yeah. This credit note. Look, this is a credit note, right? So the status yeah. is what unapplied. So unapplied. you need to uh -huh. apply a refund here. Okay. Uh -huh. So look, when we select this option, this is the okay. this is a wrong way. If you select this directly, this uh, refund receipt. Okay. So the customer is this. Right, so you are paying through this, uh, let's suppose on uh, 28, or you are paying on, uh, let's suppose the next month first, right? And uh, uh -huh. paying through the check, and uh, this is what refund from, so the which bank account, let's suppose from Dubai Islamic, and you are returning five pieces of keyboard or that uh, hard drive. The rate okay. is uh, quantity is five to fifty. Right with the tax that is standard rated to buy DXP, right? And this is the same yes. amount 1312.50 mm -hmm. fills, 1312.50 fills. So when we save it, like this, even this message is coming, refund successfully issued. But look, it is mm -hmm. not applying. This refund is coming, this refund voucher, the entry is coming there in the report uh -huh. right? yeah that is on the page. okay look in the ledger this refund value amount is not coming yeah. even if it is on uh -huh. first right i change here the date all dates but if you go here in this customer samsung look here we have this uh -huh. one it is coming it is paid 
Uh -huh. The status is coming paid, but it is not applied on this credit, applied. right? Uh -huh. So uh -huh. we need to apply it, right? So okay. need to delete. I'm gonna delete this one. That is a actually uh, it should be done like this, right? Because okay. when you're selecting the customer, uh, that uh, that credit node option will appear here. If you're using the uh -huh. QuickBooks desktop version, there we have that option. But here in this online plus, mm -hmm. we don't have an option, right? So you need to delete this. I'm gonna delete this one. So how you need to apply this one? How we need to close this uh -huh. credit note? So first, what you need to do, we are paying the refund, right? We need to pay this, yeah. uh, this amount. How much is that amount? That is one three one three one two point fifty fills, right? So what you need to do, you are paying, right? So click this. Uh -huh. and we are issuing a check right so click this option the check select the pay account pay account is your supply of the customer which is samsung and you are paying through which bank uh -huh. account uh let's suppose we are using this Dubai Dubai Islamic Islamic. Bank. that is a mailing address the payment date is uh let's suppose we are paying on uh first of march right and uh -huh. that is that uh, the category okay so in the category you need to select here accounts receivable mm -hmm. okay in the category you need to select account receivable and uh, you can just write the description refund pay to samsung right and how much is the amount one three one two point fifty fifty tax the tax amount I'm going to enter here like uh, zero rated or you can select nothing right now just check this one and uh -huh. uh, save and close and here okay we are going to mention here like zero rated because uh, we need to mention the tax here okay and then save and close but this will not appear on your uh, that sales amount okay so now if you go here refresh it okay so here it is coming this becomes zero right you pay this check uh -huh. expense becomes zero but now if okay. you click on this uh, report that uh, the sales the customer mm -hmm. the customer is samson llc still unapply unapplied right uh -huh. So what you need to do now, yeah. you need to click this new receive payment in the customer receive payment. Uh -huh. Okay, that is the last step. And here you need to select the customer. Customer is Samsung uh, LLC, right? That is that uh, the payment date on the same date because you need yeah. to apply this one, right? So that is a check yeah. and uh, whatever that uh, you are paying that reference number, check the check number. number reference is there. And now you need to check this, uh -huh. right? And uh -huh. that you need to apply on your credit also. So you need to check both, uh -huh. right? And then save and uh -huh. Okay, so now that uh, text credit memo, that credit note, it is closed now. Mm -hmm. right and go here yeah refresh it the balance is zero yeah uh -huh. any question yeah nothing so far so three steps when there is a refund yes mm -hmm. right so here look it is zero zero it's nothing there we just adjust that mm -hmm. right yeah mm -hmm. okay so that is your receivable accounting in quickbooks online class